I want to bring a few ideas that I have regarding purpose and um, being purposeful, purpose and priorities. And I was thinking about purpose from the view of an engineer. If I have a machine, it was designed and built for a specific purpose. And if you have tools, then those tools are built for a specific purpose. If you have a hammer, then it is built uh, for hitting nails or slash hammer for yeah breaking stuff. And when it is used for this perfect, if, Purse, purse, it works perfectly, everything is good. It is useful, but if you use it for something different, then it feels ah, it's like kind of kind of too bulky for some things. Um, it, it doesn't really work well. Like the optimal is like the peak of the purpose. Same for machine, also. Not many know this, um, not many think about this. Fuel machines and internal combustion engines, they have an area that is where they can run with the highest efficiency. But since you are driving not always on the same speed, you're shifting gears, you're accelerating, you're braking, the machine is not running very efficiently. And if the machine would run at this, peak efficiency it would run a lot longer and a, a lot more fuel efficient but of course that goes contra to uh, what is actually needed well i have to think of then um, when i want to transition that to purpose for uh, for animals and it's like not much different it's like they they grow up they eat they get killed, they get eaten, and before this, their purpose is to make as many children as they can. And this is the circle of life. And yeah, when you then look at humans, uh, others, for them the purpose just, okay, you can say, okay, for humans is to proliferate too, and to have children, and to go on. But if you look around, then you see that the world is about so much more than just making humans, making more people. Because we also have this circle of increasing our technical, um, technical repertoire, increasing knowledge and improving the world around us for us. And this is something that then goes, goes up. So, yeah, sadly, we live in a capitalist city and in a capitalist system. So you need to actually help people so that you get money. You don't get it for free. There's at least, yeah, it would be optimally if you wouldn't just get, get away for free without helping anyone. But, yeah, still it somehow even that money that you get for free you get from someone that actually helped other people that made their life better and that got people to say oh that is so great i give you my money so still based somewhere that someone is doing something good for other people and you have to find a way how to you want to do something good for pe other people not only to get money but also to give back to society, to improve the world. And also what I believe is to fulfill your potential because I think this um, collaboration from humans working together and building a society where, where everyone finds something that he's good at and he can give back is something that's inherently for humans and humans are looking for, for this how they it's something missing if they're only taking taking then they feel empty they feel like they're not worthy for anything or they may be they then have low self-esteem and it's it's not a fulfilling way to live so they want to have have something where they can create something and do something that they are valued for 
for soci from society. So this is difficult. Like most people, then just just look for a job, but in the job, many people then see that they they are not really happy. They are trapped in a system. They have all the regulations from the outside where they are being pushed. Oh, you have to come at the time and you have to do this task. And then they see something that they would rather do. But no, you don't have to. We need this and that. So this goes then contra to something. And if they look inside, then they see, okay, maybe there's something else that I would like to do. And then they look basically in the direction of their purpose and the purpose of a human soul if to to go back to that is i see is individual for each human and like a machine has like different characteristics or different mechanics different functions it's the same for 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 a human is that you look at what kind of qualities you have, what kind of um, what kind of advantages have, do you have against others? Then you see what what kind of good abilities you have. That is one thing that you look at. Then you look at okay, since humans have like a lot of power in their head, you then also look at okay, what intellectual capabilities do I have? What intellectual what knowledge do I have? This is very important because yet you can increase very fast and you are not very limited by that compared to your abilities. Like for, for me, for example, um, I'm a man, I can't be a children very easily. I don't know, maybe I can I can get an artificial womb or something. Yeah, that's, that's not really easy. So other people, I would say, have it a lot easier so I will look on my strength <laughs> basically and see where I can have some strength and let that do other people that have an easier time doing it. Um, that being said, your knowledge, you, you can increase your knowledge very fast. Right now with the internet, you can do that. Then you can look for other things. So you can, you might maybe see that this is also something that is like leverage so you can have like okay you have your physical leverage from your body like for for force leverage then you have the leverage of abilities you have the leverage of knowledge so you can if you have some more knowledge on one topic then you are stronger there you can move more then you have leverage from your upbringing the people that you are with the people that surround you if you have a good social circle or let's let's not say good social circle but the social social circle might allow you to leverage them and use their abilities and skills and then on top of that social circle you might have also from your upbringing you have, maybe you you grow up with lots of money so you can leverage that or you have the ability to work in the company of your your parents and then you see that so there's all like very individual leverages that you can bring into and what is one very important uh, leverage and to find your purpose where you work the most efficient and that would be also from your interests when you grow up you come you're a child you read a lot of books you interest for you have interest for horses or you interest in cars or football and then you oh you look into space and then you have interest in computers and after that you want to travel and all those different interests that come together over over the time of your upbringing that form some an inherent motivation and a, a hidden a hidden version of what you would like to to become and this is the, the driver for, for for your purpose so if you are able to leverage all your your foundations that you have and then align them 
to get towards that goal then you can basically then you are pushed and pulled towards your purpose and that's basically the theory that I have right now and this is I think the most efficient that someone can can work and if he works the most efficient that means he get the most effect for the less for the fewest work that he puts in so it doesn't feel like work it just goes up from there if you if you hit the sweet spot and who wouldn't like this who wouldn't like to even like do a specific type of work and get more out of it so yeah let me know in the comics what comments what you think about that if you have any questions feel free to ask leave a like and i don't know if you want to subscribe or send me money on paypal yeah or other platforms i have no idea support my purpose and yeah have a look for yours